and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Esper Mill. Sorry, we're bringing this deck back for our Rank Up Sunday stream. Um, this was a deck that was made by a viewer that we uh, that we played against them during the last sub battle Saturday stream that we had at the end of last month, and their deck looked really sweet. We played it uh, last Sunday, so a week ago today, and did well with it, and it looked pretty impressive. So we're going to bring it back and try it again here now in Ranked. So what this deck's all about is we are milling our opponent. That's what we're doing here. We're Our only win con is getting rid of all of the cards in our opponent's library. So this is a this is a hard control deck. This is the most control of control decks. So we're just trying to stabilize with our early removal and sweepers and everything like that, playing spells. Um, our, our main card advantage engine is Dovin's Acuity, three-man enchantment that whenever it enters the battlefield, you gain two life, draw a card. And if you cast an instant during your main phase, you can put it back into your hand. So we're doing, so we're doing a lot of um, Dovin's Acuity to help us hit our land drops and everything. And then the, the main engine card of the deck, as you see here, are the four Bond of Insights. <clears throat> so each player puts the top four cards of their library into their graveyard. This is how we start milling our opponent. Um, but then you also get to return two instant and or sorcery cards from your graveyard to your hand, and you have to exile Bond of Insights. You can't just keep on chaining Bond of Insights over and over again. But still, that that's a really powerful card because it's a lot better than just drawing two. Because if you just draw two... Who knows? You, know, you can draw two lands. You can draw two spells that don't really matter. Um, but with this, you get the card selection. So you get to choose the exact spells you want. You know, like, do do you need another Legion's Ed? Do you need a Dispark? Do you need a, a Revitalize, a Kaya's Wrath? You know, you get your cards back. You get the exact cards that you want back. The main thing that we want to be getting back quite a bit is Mastermind's Acquisition. This is... Uh, Mastermind's Acquisition is kind of our, our win con here. Yeah, it's basically this is our, our main win condition because then our, our acquisitions go to our sideboard. Um, we get clear the mind to shuffle our graveyard back into our libraries to make sure that we don't mill out before our opponent. We can go grab Ashiok to help mill our opponent out faster. Um, if our opponent's playing Nexus, like so we can't mill them out, we go grab on Mordigo to get rid of the Nexuses. Um, and we can also get Jace. So sometimes we mill our sometimes we do mill ourselves out faster because of Bond of Insight and just our card draw with Acuity. And if that's the case and we've taken control of the game, we can grab Jace and win with Jace as well. Um, Enter the God Eternals also helps mill out our opponent. Mirari Conjecture is just a cool card that brings stuff back. And since we're not playing, since we're playing a control deck that's not built around the Planeswalker, since we're not playing Teferis, uh, we get to play Planar Cleansings, which are just awesome. You know, destroy all the Planeswalkers and creatures and everything that's uh, all the problematic permanents. That are giving us trouble destroy them all all right so let's let's go ahead and play some esper mill here we may not play five matches with the deck depending on how long the games go this you know we're gonna be playing in ranked but this this is one where we may play like three or four matches instead of five but this is the most control of control decks and yeah it was it was a lot of fun to play this deck um last week and so Wanted to play it again. And I also wanted to take it to ranked because it felt pretty strong. It's hard to attack the deck. Um, a real a real big strength of this deck is that you're not playing any creatures or planeswalkers, so all the removal spells that your opponent has game one, they're all dead. Like none of them none of them do anything. And so just blanking all those cards means that uh you can get them stuck with like a you know three two three four cards in hand, game one that don't do that doesn't do anything. And that's just another form of card advantage, basically. So I yeah, I don't think our deck needs patient rebuilding to help mill or to, to help milling. Like that's that's the strength of our that's like one reason why I really like the deck is we're not playing any cards that are just dedicated mill cards. That that's all they do. They don't they don't help you win. All the cards in our deck are either like removal or card draw. Like all of our cards are helping us win, and we're not wasting any slots on just dedicated mill cards. I 
can help you no longer. I kind of want a shock to be able to hold up to Spark here in case of like another Nyssa. So I don't have to play it next turn. Obviously, Kaya's Wrath is just our best draw step. Six, seven, eight, nine. They have nine power in play. No, we'll just go with this. Yeah, three mana planeswalkers have traditionally had ultimates. I don't think there's anything wrong with three mana planeswalkers having ultimates. I do think that there is too much power in the three mana planeswalkers. Like or too much loyalty. I think there's too much loyalty in the, on those planeswalkers. I think both of them could have had two less loyalty. That's a game-winning draw step right there. At least a game-saving draw step at the very least. This is actually, oh, I, this is actually Tegan and Sarah, not the yeah, yeah, yeahs. But you might have been talking about a previous song. So one mana short of getting back Kaya's Wrath. I already have, like, good cards that I want to get back with Bond of Insight. I don't think we really need to mill ourselves. Hmm. Good, no block. Yeah, okay, so, yeah, I've made a rotation-proof mono-red deck. Uh, the one I'd, there was a Cry of the Carnarian. Yeah, I made a, a, not Cry of the Carnarian, I'm sorry. Um, Cavalcade, Cavalcade of Calamity. I made one of those, um, rota a rotation-proof Cavalcade deck that I'd recommend checking out Debo for. If you're looking for a deck for that event tomorrow, that's what I'd, re that's the one I'd recommend. And yeah, as you can tell, these all this life gain from these Dovin's Acuities really adds up. Helps us stay alive. And now, like, we, we've already won this game. So now it's just the the long uh, time of playing the deck, or playing the game after we've already won. 
Just the finishing touches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll be two mana away from doing finale for 10. Double finale to 10 with Mirari Conjecture, unfortunately. Gonna just double up Bond of Insight and revitalize next turn with Mirari's Conjecture. I do kind of wish I had a fourth Kaya's Wrath. We saw how important that is. We we have a Cleansing Nova though. Which I guess that's that's probably just as good. Let's get this cast down, Noxious Grasps. Let's get those in here. This isn't a wonderful um Elder Spell. Or, sorry, this isn't a wonderful Legion's End matchup. Ultra Spell can be useful, though. I think I'm actually going to just cut the Legion's Ends. Bringing in these other removal spells. And I think Mirari Conjecture is a little slow here. And... Cry of the Carnarium doesn't really kill stuff. Kills, like, mana creatures. That's it. You know, we have to be worried about a whole bunch of Veil of Summers. That's something that we need to have in mind. This looks good. So Enter the God Eternals is less valuable for sure with Veil a Veil of Summer deck. Like, they probably have four Veil of Summers. Um, yeah. We're gonna have to get to, like, you know, five, six mana before we die. Hopefully we don't die before we get to five mana. Hey Merlin, we're playing best of three here. There's four Dovin, Dovin's Acuities in the decks. There's the full four. So only one land for our opponent. I guess maybe I should have Noxious Grass the land where else. But it feels like that's a little unnecessary. Where we're just going to Cleansing Nova in two turns. Our opponent's not going to kill us in two turns. Perfect. That was the card I wanted. Yeah, I think this deck... I think this deck is pretty good in the metagame. Because it does something that people aren't really expecting. You know, people aren't... People don't have their, their decks built to beat completely spell-heavy deck. Um, you know, whenever people think of Esper, they think of the Teferis. And so... Nothing wrong with zigging while others are zagging. Hey, what's up, Rex? Yeah, started early today. Um... I think I may do this on for Sundays. But yeah, we talked about it like at the end of the stream last night. And I... You know, you know just kill this thing. Let's pick up the security. And I liked the idea. So I, I sent a notific... Or I sent a, a reminder on Discord, of course, about it. But, but yeah, basically we have, you know, a lot of like European viewers and stuff that want... that didn't mind an earlier stream and with it being um with it being sunday with that with people not working that's a good day to have like an an early stream once a week yeah there you go damon there's the discord link discords for everybody Power 
surges through these lands. The land shall conquer you. Alright, so I want Noxious Grasp to kill the Nyssa. And then another Bond of Insight. They could certainly have another Veil of Summer here. Yeah, they definitely could just have another Veil of Summer. Let's do this again. I'm having the Nyssa for another turn isn't anything I'm too worried about. We're going to grab Kaya's Wrath and Contempt. Unfortunately, Planar Cleansing does not kill the uh, lands that are creatures. Beasts are much more reliable we need, like, Kaya's Wrath to do that. <laughs> I've seen puppies whine less than you. No, this deck does not survive rotation. The land fights for us. Um, at least, at least exactly as is. There's a lot of cards that rotate out. I don't know about a lot, but there's definitely some. You know, like your opt, your revitalize, parts of your mana base. Oh, planar cleansing doesn't. Okay, that's nice. Okay, so we have nine mana. I kind of want 10. I kind of want to be able to play these. Let's see. So if we do... So, of course, they can instant speed a creature. Uh, well, hexproof creature. Looks like we're just going to gain some life. So we'll have to. Ha we'll do cleansing. Planar Cleansing next turn, where Planar Cleansing is still pretty good against Champion of the Wilds, the um, because they can't like let the they can't let Planar Cleansing resolve and then flash in a creature. However, it does kill my Acuity, so that's kind of the problem. So I. Could just go Contempt and then Kaya's Wrath and then save my Acuity there. But it would have been better just to play Planar Cleansing. I think I'm still just going to play Planar Cleansing, though. It just costs six mana instead of... No, they could have a Planeswalker we need to kill. Uh... 
Yeah, sorry, something popped up on my computer there. Some, like, thing saying, like, some update, and it caused some lag there, so sorry about that. So they can give their Barkhide Troll Hexproof, so I'm not actually trading Mortify for a card. But it does make their Troll just a 2-2, two -two, which 2-2s two do, do not kill you nearly as fast as 3-3s three do. And then we get to replay Acuity and continue to dig. Uh, I guess I guess I'm just going to be disparking instant speed or during my turn anyway because of Acuity. There we go. All right, we're talking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is ten. All right, so if I if I do finale, we only get to untap five lands. I think I'm gonna wait a turn to finale, and I guess I I guess the security is gonna go now. That's okay. That's all okay. Seek shelter in my stewardship. I must go. Harness the yeah, we got this. Should be a eleven. The golden egg. We on tap five lands. So we have no maximum hand size the rest of the game. Where are you? We'll cast you. Got rid of another Nyssa. I think our 13 cards in hand can probably beat a Paradise Druid. <laughs> yeah. I think my opponent figured that out too. Okay, want to know? Ugh, that's what our deck does. <laughs> this deck is pretty mean. Thanks, Karis. Uh, not sure. Like, I'm not sure exactly how our Esper control matches with this deck. I don't think we have played against it. Hey, Rask, I agree. Arena is awesome. So much cool stuff. Mulligan. Keep. So while Bond of Insight's one of my best cards, I think that's the card that I'm getting rid of. We have the acuities for card advantage right now to help us hit our land drops and stay alive. Um... I don't know, maybe... This, yeah, I mean, Counter Magic is, is going to be good against this deck. Yes. Saying Rex is a little strong. I don't know if Counter Magic wrecks this deck, and I don't know if there are decks that play enough Counter Magic. Pretty good start for the opponent. Don't really have time for the acuities here. 
Even though Acuity does help me get to planar cleansing. I bestow a mighty curse. If I kill Knight, I take four. If I kill Lieutenant, I take two. Unless they activate Knight, then I take five. Our means we're playing the deck in ranked. Orzov has a lot of very interesting cards moving forward in standard. This is but a taste of my power. Alright, so I'm taking lethal. Even if I gain two life, they have nine in play there. So I don't really need to show them acuity. Alright, extra legion's end. Cast down. Let's get rid of Marari's Conjecture. The Disparks gives me 60. Still got a pretty slow 60 here, though. Yeah, Dante Vanguard's tough. We only have four cards to kill it. Dante Vanguard's tough. Not a card I really want to see. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do want to go back to the Orzhov sacrifice deck. Um, yeah, basically, there are a lot of things I want to do with that. So yeah, you can expect probably more Orzhov decks this week. I was thinking about making a rotation, like for tomorrow, rotation proof Orzhov deck with brought back and. Some like the like the stuff with the Orzov sacrifice deck. You know, like brought back with like Plague Crafter and and everything. Um, I guess like I kind of I guess the it's not rotation proof, but I I did kind of want to play brought back with Eldest Reborn. Correct, yeah, most of the good cards in Orzov aren't rotating. The, the one right now that, that is rotating that really hurts that kind of Orzov mid-range deck is Ravenous Chupacabra. Not having Ravenous Chupacabra really hurts. So that's the main one right now. Hey, Crazy Sport, good evening. Hey, Joan O'Conn. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for bringing that hype. I will defend the weak at every opportunity. Well, this is going to be difficult. We need to draw land. Okay. Well, I guess that means I can tempt that thing. And then have Cry if they play... Another, like, more small creatures. Oh, 
Darn it, the knight's gonna grow. Unfortunately, so knight won't die to cry. But we need to draw a land, please. There we go, thank you, thank you. So now just one more land. And we get to planar cleansing. Four cards in hand. Ugh. So I think I'm going to go get a Bond of Insight so we can return uh, some of these things and, you know, have more cards. Oh, come on. It's onto Vanguard? Ugh. Prepare for battle. Quite All right, so we're gonna need we're gonna need to draw a land here so that Bond of Insight can get Cry the Carnarium for this Vanguard. Yeah, we need to draw a land. Come on, deck, give me a land. Shock land, down to one. Do not play that. Do not play that. Auto tap, you're killing me. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have played that planes. This drawing a shock land made playing that planes look really bad. They seriously only drawn three lands <laughs> this whole game. Okay, there's a fourth land. We're staying alive. We're staying alive. So we can get like revitalizes. We can just grab contempt for the Soren. But then I'm at three. 
Yeah, like, so the thing about this does lose if they have exactly third Soren plus one drop. They can kill us. You can see how powerful these Bond of Insights are, just like getting exactly what you need. See how powerful this card is. I don't I don't think I have a Sanguine Sacrament in my sideboard. No, I took that card out. Um Yeah, I don't have that card. My plan with this Masterminds acquisition is to grab the blue finale to draw millions of cards. Which I think the blue finale is in my sideboard right now. This is kind of the problem is I don't remember if it's in my sideboard or not. No, it's probably I think it's in the main deck. We haven't seen it over here, have we? I don't think so. I think it's in my deck. There it is. We're back up to healthy eight life. No! Ugh, the top deck duress. They definitely did not have that duress earlier. Oh, that's rough. Oh, that's rough. I got plenty of cards in my graveyard. blocked I think so like not blocking like we have like uh, the 4-4 can just trade for more later so they they have 18 cards in their library I have 19 cards in my library And they they have fourteen life, we have thirteen life. Draw the instant, pick up acuity. Keep that. Bond of Insights like our best possible card to draw. Alright, what do we want to grab from our sideboard? 
That's cool stuff in here. What do we want? Clear the mind. Alright, Dante Vanguard's really a problem. Alright, what can I finale for? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Alright, get a nice finale for 11 again. Untap that, 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 and that. Did we not find anything that... Ugh, nothing to kill Vanguard? Down to seven cards in library now. <laughs> Enter the Todd Eternals. <laughs> Pretty good. All right, let's go grab. Oh, they're all exiled. Right. I see the bond. But they're they're all exiled, but whatever, we'll just get this Legion's end. They better not tap all my black sources. Okay, good they didn't. Alright, GG's. Alright, game three. No, you shouldn't feel ashamed for liking this deck. Now we're playing some good magic here. This is the way Esper Control is supposed to be played. Not with just like, I'll tick up my Teferi, draw a card every turn. That's lame. All right, can we get a game on the draw? They have so many three mana walkers. I guess I maybe need these... I guess I should get this Elder spell in here. They got all the Gideons to go along with the Sorens. Um, if I'm playing that, what am I cutting, though? I can put Finale in the... Put Finale in the sideboard. Put the fourth... No, I don't want Veto. It's either I want to take out an acuity or, or a finale. I'll take out the finale. I'll put that in the sideboard. This is kind of slow. Just no Adanto Vanguard, please. Um, I feel like I, I feel like I should shock for Opt to look for Legion's End or Cry the Carnarium or Vrassus Contempt. We kind of need those cards. No. No, we don't. No, we don't want to shock though. Darn it. All right, so we at least know what I need to look for.
Well, awesome hand for our opponent. Vanguard into Gideon. I mean, I so the thing is, I need land, but I also just I need something to deal with Vanguard. There we go, and we have more lands than things to deal with Vanguard in the deck. This is a prime day for justice. Share in my light. Another a backup Gideon. So they go Soren drop. Sanctum Seeker, you will not bring and then we enter. We, that's why I was thinking they probably had like a Soren, so the I wanted to wait to turn on the Elder Spell. I believe in you. That hurts. So they drew a land there too. That hurts. And I did not draw my land. Uh, wish I didn't put that land to the bottom now. I mean, the Sanctum Seeker is just worth so much damage. I have to kill it. But this is rough. It turned out, you know, like, the ne very next card was my Legion's End. I, I could not get rid of that land. Really needed that land. Well, GG's there. I will lend you my strength. I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna keep the the music where it is. This is where I always have it. Um, I know it's a, it's a little low, but there's, you know, some people don't like the music as much, and so I'm just gonna keep it where it is because I don't want to annoy people with too loud of music. Darkness will always return. If I would have kept that white source, we could have mortified this knight also and could have survived for a little bit. And then all we need to do is draw another land and then we'd be able to bond back our... I guess, I guess at that time, if we would have kept the white source, we wouldn't have had the shock land anyway, though. So no, we would not have survived. But just awesome hand for our opponent. Ugh, we came close. If they don't top deck the land to be able to play that night, this that same turn, that would have really helped us out. Like that would have saved us a lot of life. Also, maybe we could have stabilized then. Like we would have had that extra turn. Who knows? Good match though. That was a that was a good match. Probably doesn't really need to be said, but whenever you're playing a, a very hard control deck like this that's just trying to mill the opponent out, aggro decks can go underneath you, and that's what happened there. Yeah, early stream today. Uh, yeah, I revitalize. Yep, early stream today. Uh, mentioned it there in the Discord channel. Um, but then, yeah, we were talking about it last night towards the end of the stream turkey bacon i think we didn't we already play turkey bacon i feel like we did no black mana come on deck black mana and yeah basically everybody was for an earlier stream today on sunday with people not working and stuff so still doing like still doing the seven hours but just kind of starting started at two hours early today. Yeah. I think we played this opponent. Oh, we played this opponent with the Jun dinosaurs a little while ago. That's that's where we played our opponent here. So 
So they are a Nexus deck. So we're going to have to acquisition for Unmoored Ego to take Nexus. I'm going to need to find black mana for that, though. Come on, I just milled over three black lands and only hit one target. That's not good. GG's. All right, well, we just didn't have our black mana to be able to cast Cry the Carnarium on the land we're off. Yeah, if we played Cry on turn turn three and exile both the land or those land war elves i really like our chances here but didn't happen all right so we're gonna need these noxious grasps this cast down i don't want this elder spell frisky biscuits staying on that five month streak thanks frisky biscuits gotcha that's I'm really glad the dog's back with its owner, Matthew. That is a really good story. Good job saving the dog and everything. And be real proud of that. I kind of feel like I want a Mortal Sun for this matchup. Instead of Enter the God Eternals. Maybe I don't actually want it, Immortal Sun. Nah, we don't need it. All right, we got better mana here. We got two white, two black, two blue. Can't complain about that. This coming Friday is a full moon and it's Friday the 13th. That is pretty spooky. I'm keeping one of these opts for acuity. But I wanted to play one, wanted to make sure we hit land drops. Honestly, I'm, it's possible I should be saving both of them. Like, if I knew my next two cards were land land, I would have just saved the other opt. We do not need lands anymore. We're all good there. Thank you. All right, we're going to be hitting land drops. That's certainly really important in our deck. Guess I need to Kaya's Wrath away those things. Perfect. 
That was a good card to draw. card is honestly very very good against me it's honestly really really good against me That mills me out before I mill them out. This. You will be haunted by this duel. I like Ashiok's voice lines, but how loud they are, I, I can't handle it. It's just, it's so, it's so annoying how loud it is. Your final Thing's gone. You so it was another ten cards. Or eight cards. Alright, did not work out for us there. Alright, so we're one and two. Let's play another one, hopefully get it to two and two. But our our opponent that last round certainly came ready for the really long match. That's for sure. You know, being a Nexus deck with Agent of Treachery and Copy Agent of Treachery and Ashiok. Yuck. This is a good looking hand. This is a good looking hand. All right, so maybe this is Esper that we're playing against. Maybe it's. You know, like a Golos deck, you know, like a five color deck. I don't think it's vampires, considering it's a temple. I don't think va most vampire players don't play temple, but could be. Hmm. Okay. Well, our Ashiok's and our sideboard are going to be really good here. I would like to find you know, Mastermind's Acquisition to grab Ashiok. So, yep, it is Kethis. He called it. Uh, 
<clears throat> it's possible we're dead. I don't know. Dream big, you remember your nightmares, Remy. This game's definitely trolling me now that I said that the Ashiok voice lines really bother me for how loud they are. So the next game, we immediately play against Ashiok on turn four. I've got it. No moxes in the yard right now. Two Kethys have been milled over. Doesn't sound loud to you? No, maybe it's just my end, because on my end, like, where, like, the normal sound volume and, like, the music volume, Ashiok's, like, close to twi- uh, sorry, close to twice as loud. Oh, I can't hold up instant speed removal because of Teferi. If we hit the land, I, I wanted to hit a land. And if we did, I would have played land... There we go. <clears throat> I should have only put one acuity back in my hand, but I would have played land and then mortified the excavator. All right, now we need to draw land here. Yeah, like this turn, we had to hope they don't have Kethys. Oh, they have Kethys. All right, well, that's probably game. We had to have them have a turn of not having Kethys here. Yeah, they got two moxes. I think that's game. Yeah, I started early today. Here. Do y'all think I should concede or sit through this? What do y'all think? <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, I can understand that gloom shroom. Sit through it. It does just you know it does give my opponent more information if they start milling me and see the cards in my deck. It does give them information like that. is over. We need them to not have the third Kethys there, and then we would and us draw a land, then we, we're going to be able to acquisition for Ashiok. Um, maybe instead of Planar Cleansing, I play Citadel and Immortal Sun.
Revitalize is just, you know, cycle, put acuity back into hand. That's all it does. I mean, I guess Bond of Insight helps them out too. Those things are just slow. I'm just gonna take out that top end, those top end cards. They're pretty slow. They're all slow. Yeah, yeah, Legion's End gets excavator. That's the and Lazav. Like we want a Legion's End, Lazav, and Excavator. We do have to worry about uh, Jace on their side also. We also have to worry about drawing lands. I cut all of like my top end, and yet. Oh, come on, deck. Oh, I, I overlooked Dispark. Yeah, Dispark could have gone. I overlooked Dispark. They do have they do have a couple of targets. Tamio, Teshar. They do have a couple of targets. But yeah, probably could have gone. Now we got dual wielding Ashiox. So just that voice line everywhere. Yeah, they do have the Jace. Also, so I gotta be worried about that. <laughs> Obviously, next draw step. Come on, deck. Please give it give me a land. 26 land deck, kept two. Yay. I say we drew three cards already that wasn't land. All right, well. I gotta have removal for Jace. Command the Dread Horde's pretty nice. Want spells there? No, no, they hit three lands. Uh, I don't want them to hit lands. My dreams dissipate like smoke. Yeah, we do have to spark somewhere for Jace. I love a good puzzle. There's always an answer. that thing for Jace. That was a good minus. Got this and um, 
the bird. Teshar. This has been a nightmare. It's how you play the hand you There's so many lands. Three, six, seven. They just hit four lands. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven lands gone. Oh, that's so bad My for me. All right, so I got 26 cards left in my library. My opponent has 23. I just want to draw land. Really glad my opponent didn't play the Kethis. So we don't have to worry about this Ashiok getting attacked. Is that why they didn't play Kethis? That's a terrible reason not to play Kethis. Because they have the Mox Amber, so they could still just play Kethis and still hold up Veil of Summer with Mox Amber. But I'm glad our Ashiok doesn't take three here. They're down to 20. I'm at 20 also. Behold, of fear. That was a good minus for us. I guess they, I guess they wanted to play Kathis and then cast up immediately, I guess. Yeah, all these cards are exiled, so yeah, clear the mind doesn't help me. These Bond of Insights are just all basically dead. They got both of my Elder Spells. Can we get from Exile? Does Acquisition grab from Exile if I choose own from outside of the game? No, it does not. Only sideboard. Do I have anything on my sideboard for Ashiok? Unfortunately, they hit my second Elder Spell this last time. Otherwise, I, was, I would have been able to go grab Elder Spell. Jace is in my sideboard, that is true. It's gonna take me a little bit of time to cast this, then. OK. 
cast Jace. I mean, I, I get to double. I can. I get to just double bond of insight though, and and force my opponent. And you know, basic, I can basically mill us both out, but they they draw first. Oh, I do have to I have to use two black sources for this card. How many excavators have they gone through? One, two, three. So yeah, I think I'm safe. I, I don't think they can mill out nine cards here. We'll see though. Oh, yeah, I can't search my library anyway because of the Ashiok in play. I didn't even think of that. I didn't even think of that. I honestly didn't even think of that. <laughs> but, yeah, that's true. I can't. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Behold, my victory was but a dream. Looks I've like I'm getting milled out. Excellent timing. Oh, they box, they bounce Mox Amber. Replay Mox Amber. They have to they have to still be able to play one more legend here. Well they can't bounce Mox Amber, they die because they draw a card. So I think they messed up. I think they messed up. Yeah, good call there. I think their last card is oh, it's just a land, so yeah, they messed up. Don't worry, I got this. Don't worry. This is all just an illusion. No, I like letting my opponent know that I have Jace. Honestly, this will come in handy. I like letting my opponent that I have Jace, so that maybe they don't self mill, so they don't mill, they don't try to mill me as fast. This next game, you know, maybe they're like, you know, maybe they have to be more worried of Jace, and so they don't try to mill me as much. So I actually think it's it's good to. 
to be like, hey, I have a Jace, so please don't mill me. Because I don't want them to mill me. <laughs> So that's my my thought there. All right, so yeah, to Sparks, get rid of Tamio and Jace. Yeah, I mean, Vito is, is good unless they have Teferi in play. I think my worst card is probably to Spark and Bond of Insight. Like, the, obviously, like with them having all those Ashioks, the Bond of Insights don't look as good. And we cut a couple of Bond of Insights for a Citadel and a Sun. Seen them have Veil of Summers, Command the Dread Horde. Let's get a planar cleansing back in here. Their combo creature their combo pieces aren't all creatures. Their main combo piece is Mox Amber. But yeah, it's not that's not the the most feel feel good of uh vetoing a Mox Amber. I mean I have, I have some things that kill to fairy, but yeah. I don't really want to play Veto. Well, you just said all their counter... You just said all their combo pieces are creatures, and that's not really true. Like, they need Mox Amber. And that, that honestly could stop their combo turn, countering a Mox Amber. You know, it could be that they're relying on that extra mana that, that Mox Amber had. Alright, my 26 land deck. <laughs> I was like, we can't find a land. This 26 land deck, it's going to be sad. It's been a pretty good match, though. If I tap out, I could die. Unlikely though. But it's possible.
Unfortunately, I had to put that Unmortigo down to the bottom whenever we needed land. I do wish I had that. Oh, is the, is the timer hiss bug back? No, I'd never take out. I mean, no, I'd never take out Mastermind's acquisition ever against anything. No, this this deck is relying on Mastermind's acquisition. So now those are still in in the deck. Not untapped white for planar cleansing. So does Lazav become green whenever it copies Kethis? Like, do I get to Noxious Grasp Lazav? Yeah, so like basically what you said there, Bats. Does that work? Okay. Then yeah, let's just get all these excavators out of here. So they don't have any... excavators at all. Alright, well I'm just casting pl planar cleansing now. Leave them with nothing. Remember your nightmares remain. <laughs> yeah, we have a mill mirror here. It was pretty interesting. Karn the Great Creator. Uh yeah, it would yeah, it may shut yeah, it would really hurt our opponent's deck getting rid of like their Mox Ambers um, if they couldn't deal with it, but they usually can deal with it somehow. Let us have a storied battle worth retelling. The past is never forgotten. Perfect. We still have Noxious Grasp, Instant Speed to kill this Kethys. <clears throat> yeah, no, this. Yeah, their their combos with Kethis like this, so this doesn't lock them out, but it it slows down a lot of their value cards, though. Domain's Acuity costing two mana is really nice. Oh no, their other their last card was Veil of Summer. Oh, that's a problem. Alright. Not as much of a problem anymore.
All right, Mox Amber's gone. So they have Command the Dreadhorde in hand now. Come on, click the, click the Mox Ambers before I run out of time. All right, so Moxes are gone. Um, Command the Dread Horde basically just you know gets back some Planeswalkers that don't do anything. Lazav and Fibblethip right now. My plan is to Bond of Insight, Grasp an Ego, kill the Kethys, Ego Kethys. I think that's my plan. I know my responsibility. I've already exiled three excavators, so if I yeah, if I name excavator, I just get, you know, one more of those. Oh, yeah, I have... Okay, yeah, I have Elder Spells. I don't really have to be that worried. How about them getting Jace? Kethis is gone. Still got 17 minutes, so I think I'm okay on time. They had they had three Kethises. I exiled all three. They had two in the library, one in the graveyard. They didn't have a fourth. They must have sideboarded out the fourth. They they could have sideboarded out the fourth whenever they were bringing in other stuff. We can figure a way out of this. All right, so we've exiled three Lazavs, three Excavators, four Moxes, three Kethys. It's kind of like their deck. It's basically the whole deck. Double tip beats. I'm down to 27 cards in my library. They're at 24. Yeah, I could have done that. I could have just disbarked Jace to get that exiled also. Um, and then... Uh, and then Elder Spell later. Or just also just Elder Spell the other two. Yeah, I mean the other... 
Doesn't really matter. Dispark gets Teshar. Still. Which, I don't, you know, I don't know how vital Teshar is going to be, but... As far as I know, I didn't see anything else besides the one, the Command the Dread Horde and now Kethis that, like Kethis and Command, I don't think they have anything else to bring back the Jays. <clears throat> really, I'm looking for like another Masterminds acquisition here. Oh yeah, we're definitely Kaiser, I think, Fibblethip. That's a legendary homunculus over there. Gotta wrath that thing. Hmm. The moon looks intriguing tonight. Well, we can't... I can't activate Ashiok. Yeah, I could just spark the Immortal Sun to activate Ashiok later. I'm not going to do that immediately. There's our Wincon. Found the Wincon. All right, how big is this finale? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen. The aptly named finale of Revelation. Let's get this egg out, out here. Oh, I could do. Oh, I could do another one because of Immortal Sun. Eh, whatever. I think this is enough cards. Whenever you, whenever you do finale over 10, you shuffle your graveyard into your library before you draw. We now have 16 cards in our library. Um... Is over. Well, so so I, I do have to worry about their elder spell. As far as like going and grabbing my Jace I is concerned. Oh, I guess I need, don't need to worry about it anymore. I'm thinking like Mirari Conjecture would be able to like double on Mordigo and everything. Double Masterminds Acquisition. You know, we get to just double up everything. All right, get those things out of here. Get 
that thing out of here. I'll return while you slumber. Get that back in our hand. Thirteen cards. They're at eighteen. So, what do they have left in their library? Little so an Ashiok, a Tamio, two Teferis, a Fibblethip, and an Excavator. I. That's not very much. Where's my spark? There you are. I guess that is gonna make my spells cost more now. Oh well. Oh, I should have cast. I should have cast Bond of Insight first. Yeah, whatever. Deck wins, it wins. Or mine. Let's think this through. Now we get to triple all of our spells next turn. Even though it doesn't matter. Um There we go. Two and two. Okay. Yeah, no, we're we're trying to mill our opponent. <laughs> yeah, finally. We're trying to mill our opponent. That's what our deck's trying to do. There. Um I think I'm gonna move to the next deck. You know, we're just two and two there. Do y'all think we should play one more with that one? Or move on? Those See, the games are just so long. I think that was a good showing. You know, that was like close to two hours. All right, everybody wants one more? Whoever must them. All right, it's, it's more people saying one more. All right, we'll do one more. Boy, that's for Mill. I guess I could, yeah, I could run a poll. Yeah, we have more people saying move on now. I don't know if I can cancel in time. Okay. 
All right. Um, so should we play one more match with that one? Uh, let's see. Uh, pull. You get 30 seconds. That's all you're going to have. You're going to have to either write yes or no if you want one more match with that deck, or should we move on? So poll started. Yes or no. Yeah, 30 seconds. There's a lot of yeses and a lot of nos. We did have we had a really good showing there though like you know a couple hours, um, we got to play against a lot of different you know all four decks were different. We had to see like the mid range creature deck, the aggro deck, and then I guess like a a fast combo deck and a control combo deck. All right, we're gonna play one more. Here we go. Esper Mill. See if we can get the 3 2, the winning record. Yes, wins. It's a close vote. Close vote. And then we're going to have. We're going to rank up with some Rakdos Aggro featuring Rampaging Ferocidon. Um, uh, Rotting Regisaur, Rampaging Ferocidon, Knight of the Ebon Legion. All those good cards. That's what our next deck is. And then we have Jeskai Hero as a donation deck to finish out the stream today. I do not have any cyborg guide for this deck written. This is only my second time playing it. But it's been a lot of fun. So I was kind of thinking Esper after the Hallowed Fountain, but now with the Temple Garden, this is probably <clears throat> Field of the Dead kind of deck. Um, not sure if it's this is just going to be like regular old Bant Scape Shift or. Or a Golos deck. I think I'm going to have Mastermind's Acquisition and grab Unmoored Ego here. And then try to Unmoored Ego away Field of the Dead the next turn. I think that's my plan. Right on schedule. I'll that plan is a little tough. If my opponent's not playing Field of the Dead. We'll get more information here. Good. Good, 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 good. Looks like this is Scape Shift. Okay, good. If they would have gone and gotten, gotten a, like a black source and a red source, you know, then you know it's like Golos kind of thing, and then I'm a little more worried. And then I have to like Unmored Ego, like Nexus or something. I've got time. Yeah, just regular old scape shift. Yeah, it looks like their only win cons were Krasis's and 1-1s. One they could, like, Krasis, draw a bunch of cards, then bounce the Krasis with the Fairy here to keep it in hand. Let's try this. <clears throat> I 
It's likely my opponent's bouncing the Mirari's Conjecture, but you never know. I hope they don't. Ah, uh, darn it. Uh, Could have got back on Mordigo, like name crisis. Ugh. Yeah, little do they know we want them to draw cards. It's true. All right, probably going to go with Mortify plus Acuity, where Mortify is a good instant to pick up again with Marari's Conjecture. I guess I could Wrath. They have eight creatures that attack, and so that's three of the eight. So that does kill... Three of the eight creatures that attack. Here goes nothing. And nothing like the good old control deck. Good old super control deck. Now <clears throat> we have Mortify in the graveyard, which is a better card to draw. That's more like it. It certainly makes life easy when they did and their deck does not have Field of the Dead. So it makes life quite easy. All right, so sideboard. Got to worry about like Agent of Treachery. That card's always annoying. All right, if we play all these cards, we're we gonna cut. Dispark can go. Revitalize can go. Enter the God Eternals can go. Marari Conjecture can go. Planar cleansing is, so the question is how important is planar cleansing? It's really good at times, but then there's other times that it's that it's slow. Like six mana is a lot of mana. We, we can definitely take one out in this matchup. I don't know. Cutting Revitalize and cutting Enter the God Eternals, that's a lot of life gain that I'm cutting. I guess I still have the acuities, though. Yeah, let's go with this. I think we need like all the sweepers just in case. All those, they have like a bunch of two twos. Don't like this hand very much. Two tap lands, no like 
we're mulliganing this. There we go. Like, no, like, acuity or ways to hit more lands or anything like that. And I'm just going to put the uh, opt to the bottom. Or acquisition. No, I think just opt. I don't have anything to stop. Uh, I guess we're going to the bottom. I mean, I like that card, but we don't have anything to stop, you know, like a, a turn four escape shift that puts a whole bunch of zombies in play. I don't have anything to, like, kill the zombies. Maybe I should have cut Mortifies, honestly. Or something else. Immortal Sun would kind of be nice, but it's risky to play Immortal Sun against a deck that likely has Agent of Treacheries. If I acquisition to grab on Mortigo, on Mortigo, it's likely going to get either countered or more likely Vela Summered. All right, so if they have their own Dovin's Veto, this plan will not work. But if they just have Vela Summer, this plan will work. Ugh. Well, that's good news. That is good news. That's representing Vela Summer. That's exactly what I want to see. That was exactly what I wanted to see. Beetle the Dead. Uh, they had the combo also in their hand. All right, so we got one big Teferi, one Veto, one Agent, two Veto, two Agent, two big Teferi. All right, two of each of those. Hey, that's awesome, Chris. Almost got Modern Jund built in paper. That's good news. Glad to hear that. Trust me. You'll thank me later. No, I am not making this up as I go.
I'm not gonna noxious grasp this little Teferi. I don't care about that little Teferi too much. And plus, if they want to blow up my acuity, they have to blow up the Time Raveler also. Hey, what's up, Balding Yeti? A married man now. Congratulations. Congratulations. And welcome back. Oh yeah, it should have been the other order to return acuity. Yeah, I guess I didn't. I, yeah, I definitely should have done the other order and play you. play acuity first, then mortify, then put acuity back into hand. Yeah, I, I definitely should have done that. Yeah, I should have done that. Alright, so we know our opponent has two Veto, two Big Teferi, two Agent of Treachery, all of those. I guess I don't, I don't remember how many Vela Summers. They have. I don't really look for Veil of Summer. And then, yeah, they have. So they have three more Krasis. Also. Yeah, Age of Treachery is just kind of annoying. You know, it takes a land. Um, you know, that's about it. That's the good part. So, like, if I cast on Mortigo, I guess I'm ca I'm naming Krasis. I guess. Or is it Agent of Treachery? Yeah, I yeah, I got to look at their deck. They have two agent of treacheries. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Two agent of treachery, three crisis, two big to fairy, two Dovin's vetoes. Those are the scary cards. Yeah, we could do Big Teferi also. Could do Dovin's Veto also. The thing is, like, I don't know, I got I got removal for Big Teferi's. Depending on how much they thin themselves. Bond of Insight would be a great draw. Yeah, I really want to find Bond of Insight. Just mills us both five. Which milling them five is going to be really valuable with them not having hardly any lands left.
All right, I was kind of testing them to see if they would counter that. Pizza veto. All right, so one veto left. I don't mind. Like even if like like honestly naming no naming Dovin's veto would not have been bad with Unmoored Ego, so I, I don't mind taking one of the two. No, I am not making this up as I go. That's a great card. Gosh, I'm not sure if that resolves. I sure hope it does, but it likely doesn't. Uh, they got one more counter spell in their deck, but if they're not playing anything, they gotta have a counter spell in hand, right? Oh, well, we're just playing it. I will have to go to discard if this resolves. All right, it does. All right, the other veto is gone. And a second crisis and another veil of summer. Probably have other Teferis. No, just be patient. They don't have any vetoes left. So they got two Krasis, two Teferi, two Agent of Treachery. And we can take away two of those. Bunch of twos. They may have another Veil of Summer. I didn't really count Veil of Summers. So we've seen two Veil of Summers gone. So, you know, they have up to two more Veil of Summers. I can no longer stand by. Hurry! They're only down to 13 cards, so it's kind of likely they have an Agent of Treachery in hand. That's more like it. Yeah, you should definitely get Steak at Outback tonight. Nice. Yeah, go in there for your sister's birthday. That's really cool. Yeah, definitely get, definitely get a Steak. They can steal lands. Agent of Treachery steals lands. Yeah, two time wasters in hand. Another time waster in the graveyard or in the library. defeat. Doesn't look like they have anything else. I guess I didn't take the one from the graveyard. Playing fast and loose over here. Here go 
was nothing. Playing fast and loose over here. Didn't get the one from the graveyard. Alright, so Kai's Wrath ends the game. Only time will tell. Sorry I'm late. GG's. Alright, so just all you gotta do against the escape ship deck is take Field of the Dead out of the deck. And it makes everything else a lot easier. Trust me, I have a plan. That's all you gotta do. Well the opponent had no cards left in their library. That wasn't really a, a preemptive DG. I mean, when we saw their library millions of times with all the Unmorty goes. <laughs> yeah, the honorable death there. Going out on your own terms. All right, so that's our Esper Mill deck. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's, it's the most controlling of control decks. If you like playing control and just blanking cards in your opponent's hand because they're just sitting there with like their removal spells like waiting for you to play your Teferi so they can kill it. It's just not coming. It's just not going to get there. But yeah, moving, moving away from all the, all the planeswalkers around and everything. Saying no thank you, Teferi. It's a pretty good deck. Yeah, this, this is the rank up really quickly deck. Yep. If you want to rank up really quickly, um, this is a good one. <laughs> you know, that was just only, a, you know, just barely a little over two hours or whatever for the five matches there. You know, pretty fast there. Can this be played in best of one? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, as far as best of one goes, the the thing is change the sideboard so they're all one ofs because of Mastermind's acquisition. Uh, you know, so you don't need two of any card. You can just play one of each card. And I think, and then uh, for best of one, I would I would probably play zero Dispark and play a couple other early removal spells as well. You know, play like a, a second, I'd probably play a second Cry of the Carnarium and a fourth Kaya's Wrath. I think like those cards are really, really important in best of one. Or maybe also get like, a, or maybe get a couple of cast downs instead of Disparks. I would, I would cut Mirari's Conjecture. I think that card's a little too slow, but so I'd cut Conjecture and Disparks and play three other aggro cards. Um, honestly, maybe maybe put the finale over in the sideboard for a third Mastermind's Acquisition because Mastermind's Acquisition is is just awesome there in best of one. Um, uh, yeah. So yeah. Um, Okay, yeah, I could I could try to make a best of one list later and post it um, with this video. Uh, yeah, after I get done streaming, um, take me just a, a couple of minutes. But yeah, so if you're watching this later on YouTube, uh, if there's not a best of one list in the description yet, um, it'll be there later tonight. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I'll make one there. Hey, Minasar. All right, uh, but that's that's Esper Mill. So if you're watching later on YouTube also, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the deck and all that kind of stuff. Um, but there we go. That's Esper Mill. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.